Brexit trade talks erupted into chaos after Boris Johnson attempted to override the withdrawal agreement, a move Margaret Thatcher would never have done, according to former Attorney General Geoffrey Cox. The Internal Market Bill passed its first hurdle in the Commons last week as MPs voted in favour by 340 votes to 263, but not without controversy. It addresses the Northern Ireland Protocol, an element of the withdrawal agreement designed to prevent a hard border returning to the island of Ireland. The bill seeks to give powers to UK ministers so they can modify or disapply rules relating to the movement of goods. Northern Ireland Secretary Brandon Lewis admitted this could break international law. The move has infuriated the EU as Prime Minister Boris Johnson attempts to jump hurdles laid by the withdrawal agreement, which the Conservatives passed through Parliament this year. The Prime Minister has also faced pressure from his own party, as MP and former Attorney General Geoffrey Cox contrasts Mr Johnson with former Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher. He told the Chopper Politics podcast, the British strength is based on its faithful and rigorous observance of the rule of law, and on an international and historic reputation for keeping its word. It is beneath the dignity of the Crown to renege on an agreement it solemnly undertook just nine months ago. It is a matter of national honour. I don't have any problem with the government using emergency powers providing they use those powers in circumstances that the law would permit. All I am arguing is that a government should act within the law. Can you imagine Margaret Thatcher doing anything else? I don't think we should be acting like the strongman, because we all know how that ends up. The politician and barrister added that while he supports Britain leaving the EU, he cannot endorse breaking the law. He continued, Michael Gove and Boris Johnson said the powers would only be used in circumstances where there was a breach of duty of good faith by the EU. I am very keen to support the government. I am a committed exponent of our leaving the EU. I understand the government's objective, but I cannot be in a position of endorsing law breaking. And I repeat, can you imagine Mrs. Thatcher openly saying she would break the law?